2011. They call it planking. The practice of laying on your front, completely still, for social media kudos. It was safe. Fun for families. Fun for professionals. Fun for brands. Australian sports ball players were doing a plank. There is obviously a message here. He lays down and stays very still for a couple of seconds. The news was doing a plank. By gum, even TV funny mans were doing a plank. <laughs> Soon there were thousands of kids just laying around downtown. Some of the location selection was quite creative. Others, less inspired. But soon the one-upsmanship drove people to do ever more daring planks. Some were really asking for trouble. Trouble? Especially those that partook in subgenre spin-offs, such as the intersection plank, the balcony plank, and that's when the accidents began. Oopsie daisy. A 17-year-old was planking on his roof, fell oh. off, crashed onto the concrete hey. below, and his kidney ruptured. It had to be removed. Not to be outdone, an 18-year-old fell from a fifth-story balcony. So, guys, we On his way down, he bounced off an awning, landed on the <laughs> pavement, and destroyed his spleen. That had to be cut out, too. Hold my beer, another guy says, as he planks from the roof of a moving car. Your destination is on the right. It's a coma. Then finally, a man in Australia planks from the seventh story of an apartment complex. He fell off and died. All right, you stupid kids, shut it down. Game's over. Time to start punishing anyone who planks. Shit's a safety hazard. A blanket ban in schools and universities is implemented. That leads to several suspensions. Then it progressed to the workplace. GameStop fired a guy for planking. Woolworths fired eight. A hospital fired seven. A factory fired two. What a plank in a mine? Want to get fired? Surely it couldn't hurt just to plank a little in the old folks' home. Now you're unemployed. But it doesn't stop there. It goes all the way to the highest levels of power. The South Australian government. They consider a statewide ban on planking. Which is quickly dropped. The Prime Sheila of Australia, Julia Gillard, issues an official decree to knock it off kids. But that's not enough to stop this epidemic from spreading. The more the media said, Planking bad. The more alluring it became. You even had your serial offenders. Have you seen this man? This guy went on a planking spree, here, and here, and here, and finally on a cop car. When he uploaded it to Facebook, however, the police weren't so pleased, and they sent him a summons to court. At first, he tried to claim the images were shocked. No one was believing that. So he confessed, and he received a $303 fine. The police cracked down on a number of others, too. But it all backfired. Soon, the new, defiant subgenre of cop car planking emerged in direct protest. And when one was struck down, a hundred more took their place. Although some police didn't help the situation either. It takes a lot of bravery to be that vulnerable, and I'm so proud of this community. But while this was all going down, the subgenres were becoming more esoteric. The rotating escalator plank, for example. The... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Everyone shut up. It's Exhibit. And he's here to tell everyone to stop planking. Why? Because it's racist. That's right. X goes on to give it to his followers by explaining that the Atlantic slave trade also had people lying down with their arms at their side too. Therefore... Not really, he just plucked this entirely out of thin air or overheard it at the pub. There is absolutely zero connection between this lame fad and the Atlantic slave trade. Besides, everybody knows that planking originally started with the Catholic Church in 595 AD. Something called the Litany of Saints. Even the Pope was planking. Anyway, so John Key, chief cuz of New Zealand, decided to take things into his own hands. He does a fine how-do-you-do fellow kids and uploads this slightly ominous picture of his son planking. And... You did it. You killed the meme. It's done. Some desperate resuscitation was attempted with owling and teapotting and beheading. Actually, that's pretty good. But the timing was all wrong and it never properly took off. And that is the story of planking. 
a small footnote in internet history. Oh, here come those ne- oh, oh, was that a bit that might have been a bit quick for you. How about how about now did you get your name? As a oh, that's a shame. C- coming in from the left hand side oh Oh just just missed it. I saw uh, I saw a Steve in there. 